How's it going people? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a slightly different type of video. Today I wanted to talk you through the amount of money that I have spent so far on my two project cars, my VW Polo 9N from 2002 and my Mazda MX-5 NA from 1997. Obviously they're both very different types of projects entirely and I've put a completely different budget towards each of those two cars over the last two years or so, but I thought it'd be interesting to show you guys what I've spent so far on them so that you guys can get a bit of an understanding of what it might cost you to do the same. This is also news to me by the way, I have it all in front of me here on this laptop and I haven't actually totaled any of it yet. I just know that I've spent this amount of money on each part for the car. Remember to like, comment and subscribe for more wiki car content. Sit back, relax, enjoy the fact that I've spent way too much money on these two cars and you guys should definitely learn from my mistakes. And without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> So let's go all the way back to the beginning. I bought the VW Polo via my dad from one of his friends who buys and sells cars, I suppose. It was 400 pounds. Obviously, many of you are already aware I bought it so I could go to university. It wasn't so that I could start a YouTube channel or anything. It was just a car. I bought it back in 2017, just after my Skoda had been crashed. And I decided that I wanted to do some small projects on it, not for YouTube, just for myself. So the first things that I did was remove the Polo badges off of the back and paint the logos black as well. And obviously that cost me 10 quid for paint. And by paint, I mean the Halford peelable spray. Then I decided I was going to start doing some YouTube videos and document this kind of nonsense, all these cheap mods that I was doing because I was an absolutely broke student at the time. And to kind of prove that point of how broke I was, one of the first videos I did was a set of lights in the interior of the car. It was using actually some fairy lights that I'd bought from Primark, I think, for £2.50. It was like, literally, I'd bought them for my birthday party and then just repurposed them for trying to see what it would look like in the car. It looked awful. Literally, almost immediately after that video, they fell out and I just got rid of them. It was, it was rubbish, but I kept the video live. You can go have a look at it, it's quite funny. Another video that came out around that time was the Gear Gator, which cost me seven pounds for the actual Gator itself, and then also a quid for the Jubilee clip. And obviously I spent some money on tools, but I'm not including those in this video. In fact, the Gear Gator video might have been the first ever pointless Polo Project video, which is pretty cool. And then next up, I spent a further seven pounds on the vinyl wrap. While I was still at uni, I wrapped the steering wheel. And then when I left university that summer, I wrapped the rest of the interior of the car. Then I spent a further 20 pounds on the Halford's Peelable Black Spray Paint in order to paint the hubcaps. and then another 10 quid's worth of that on for the more recent redoing of the badges. I had to do a couple of fixes to the car. One of them was the fan resistor pack that cost me £7.16. I did make a video out of that, but I didn't make a video out of when I had to replace a single coil pack that was £25. It's quite an easy job. If it happens to me again, I'll record it and put it on YouTube. I then had to spend a further £9 after someone destroyed my car door mirror in their Honda Jazz. And then I did one of my favourite mods, which was the front grill. Now the grill cost me a further £12.15 and then the honeycomb mesh that I put on as well cost me a further 20 quid. That was quite a difficult job, but one I'm still proud of today. Then another person destroyed my car door mirror. And in fact, my neighbors got on their CCTV and I might have the footage somewhere. So if I can show it to you, it will be on right now. But yes, that was £25 on the door mirror and then a further £15 on the paint that I used to colour code both the wing mirrors. I then bought the GTI front seats for the car, which cost me £180. I then got the lowering springs in the shocks. It was 110 for the springs and then 132 for the shocks. So those three purchases, the first time I really spent any proper money on the car. You can tell at this point, I'm finally out of my overdraft from university and I'm starting to actually spend some money on the car. Thought I'd note one thing that I didn't actually spend money on, but my parents bought me those alloys for Christmas a couple of years ago, which was very kind of them. I think they were around 300 pounds, I don't know for certain, obviously it was a Christmas present, but then I spent a further 240 pounds on a set of Toyo T1R tires for it. Off camera, I also spent 50 pounds on a new battery for the car because the battery was awful. And the final things that you will have seen on the Polo are the black vinyl wrap and the squeegee tool that I bought in order to attempt to wrap the roof of my car, which obviously didn't go very well. So if you've not watched that video, it's well worth it. It's a full on roller coaster ride, although the roller coaster exclusively goes down. But yes, the vinyl wrap cost me 29 pounds and the squeegee cost me three quid. But that's not everything I've spent. I've bought a whole bunch of other stuff to do to the Polo and I was planning on doing it around about now, but obviously being in the situation that we're in, I don't think it's appropriate for me to go outside and start messing around with the car in the middle of the street. I won't tell you exactly what I've bought because that will ruin the surprise for the next couple of videos, but I spent a further 15 pounds on one set of things and a further eight pounds on another set of things. Going back to the original roots of the Pointless Polo project being this cheap and simple project. So that's the Polo. We'll tally up the actual total at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. Let's get onto the MX-5 instead. Now, 
this should be a lot quicker because obviously I only bought the car in September last year, but I have bought a bunch of quite expensive modifications, so I expect this to be a lot more money than the Polo. Obviously, I was on the hunt for a project car to turn into something track focused that I could also drive on the road. I had the choice between the TT and the MX-5 and I got you guys to choose for me and you chose the MX-5. So here's a clip of me in the park on the phone buying the MX-5. It cost me a thousand pounds. I haggled it down from 1,250. So a couple of savings there. Something that I didn't buy, but something that a friend bought for me instead was the We Are Likewise shifter, which actually is horrendously comfortable when driving it on track in particular. It just, it, I don't know, it's very easy to grip. I, you can probably see why. And again, I don't know exactly how much you spend, but I think it was around about 50 pounds. I then went on an absolute spending spree. So I severely hope my girlfriend's not watching this because she'll be very angry with me for spending this much money on the car. But immediately it came to Black Friday and there was an excellent deal on the VMAX Extreme Suspension, which I got for £473. I then spent £591 on the Sparco Sprint Sky seats, the JB mount, and all the mounting bolts, etc. Also for the interior of the car, I spent £300 on the TR Lane roll bar, the one with the little V shape on it. For the underside of the car, I spent £355 on the h &R Anti Roll Bar, and then a further £275 on the Energy Suspension Poly Bushes. And those have been two very impactful purchases. I would highly recommend both of them. In order to fit those, there's a whole bunch of other stuff I needed to buy as well to go under the car, including the drop links, which cost me 50 quid, the lower ball joints, which cost me a further 47 pounds, and the cam adjuster bolts as well, which is a further 21 pounds. This is really starting to tally up. I'm starting to see here just how much money I spent. To finish off my spending on the MX-5, I spent a further 94 pounds on the braided brake hoses, but my family also bought me a couple of things, including the yellow stuff brake pads, which cost a further 80 quid, and a high flow oil filter, which is a further 30 pounds. I haven't actually put it on the car yet, but I have that too. And that's just up until now. That's all the money that I've spent on the two cars until now, not including stuff like MOTs, petrol, all the other good stuff that goes into maintaining and looking after these cars. Road tax, insurance, all that kind of stuff added on. It really does add up, but this is just specifically on the actual projects in and of themselves. So in total, the key thing that you guys probably wanted to see from this video, I have spent £1,636 on the VW Polo 9N and a further £3,365 on the Mazda MX-5, which actually rounds off that price quite well. It's £5,001 in total. So, I mean, a lot of money to spend. Granted, like that's a lot of cash to spend on two cars, particularly on two cars that I spent £1,400 in total on to buy. That means if you take out the price of the cars themselves, it's £3,601 in total that I've actually spent on parts and bits for those cars, which I don't think is awful for project cars. I think I've done pretty well so far, I guess, but I'm still spending more than double the amount of the cars on parts for them. So yeah, take from that what you will. I hope that this can help some of you guys to plan for how much money you're going to spend on your cars. You can see the cheap project being the Polo and then the more expensive project being the MX-5, but still kind of on a budget, obviously. If this video did help you, remember to hit the like button and subscribe for more weekly car content because without you guys doing what you do, watching the videos, giving them some love, I would not have the money to be able to do any of this. So thank you very much. And an even bigger thanks to the patrons for their continued support because them giving me extra cash off the side every single month, again, all goes into making these projects a reality so huge thank you to you guys but as always i hope you're all staying safe indoors remember to like comment subscribe all that great stuff and thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one Listen.